So I found a great deal that you may like. There are three engines for sale. You may bring all three of them on trial if you like. Splendid. What are they? Well, the first two are both experimental designs built at Croven's Gate. One's green and is a mix between a GNR A1 and a C1. He does not have an official number yet, but they will paint a number three on the tender. The second is a blue engine who is completely custom built. His number is 87546. I see. And what about the third one? The third one is also green. However, he is an actual design, an LNER B12, I think. His number is 98462. What are their names? 87546 has no official name. The unnumbered engine is called Henry, and 98462, I believe, is called Alfred. Oh, heaven, do you smell that? What, Alfred? Modernization, 87546. Soon this whole railway will swarm with our classes. Welcome, Alfred and 87546. Pleased to meet both of you. Hello, my name is Alfred. After Sir Alfred R. Jovington, a famous designer in the LNER. Oh, and King Alfred the Great, too, of course. <laughs> Hang on. Why have you got a number three, Alfred? I thought your number was 98462. Well, I decided that I might as well change it, being the most likely candidate for the position of the NWR number three. Oh, I see. Well, no matter. Speaking of three, where is the third engine? Oh, Henry. He's probably broken down somewhere. Yes, I can't tell you how much of a sad story Henry is. He's coming. Oh, I'm really sorry, sir. We had some trouble building up steam. I'm Henry, by the way. It's all right, Henry. Glad to see you've arrived safely. Huh. Oh, us B-12s are the finest sight on the LNER. I mean, just look at how gracefully we move along the line. Well, that's good for you, but I'm unique. I am the only member of my class. So am I. Only you are a pathetic sight. It's like someone sucked all the dignity out of the A1. That wasn't my fault. Just a build error. It was fixed immediately after. I don't think the Fat Controller has time to be fixing you every day. <laughs> Besides, I'm 16 years old, and I've never had any problems at all. Yeah, but be careful. One day, you might just collapse and fall apart. Enough, you three. Jeez, ever since you got to this railway, it's been nothing but insults to each other. It's what gives us character. Oh, shut up. Come on, come on! Hurry up, you wooden things! All right, take fuss. All right, take fuss. Come along, dears. You shouldn't be late. Here we go. Woo! What a kind angel! Hurry up, Henry! I think I see snow on the horizon! It's July! Exactly! My god! Those engines are so cruel to poor Henry! This is lovely! Cruising along the countryside! Yes, indeed. Though we need to pick up the pace a bit. We're a bit behind schedule. Oh no! I can't really go any faster! Good Lord, Henry! I was supposed to arrive here after you had left! 
Let's talk about guaranteed connection. Or like guaranteed misery. Don't bother to argue with him. He's all stuffed up. A little late, but thank you for a smooth ride, Henry. Yeah. You're welcome. There you are, Henry. Now look, being late coming here was one thing, but I can't have it on my passenger trains. We've had several complaints today. Yes, sir. And Alfred, I am very pleased with your work today. You are a very useful engine. Why, thank you, sir. Come on, Henry. Why aren't you steaming up? I'm trying! It's just so damn hard! Well, it's about time! Boy, that locomotive's in terrible shape. <laughs> Nobody wants me. It's hopeless. Don't say that, Henry. We like you. You do? Yes, of course. You're so gentle with us. The other engines bump us around, especially the blue one and the other green one. But you take great care and are so smooth. We've got your back, old boy. Well, thank you. That means a lot. Of course. In fact, yesterday, I recall one of your passengers said you were a smooth rider. I... Why, yes. You know, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get this train on time if it's the last thing I do. Yes, I'm disabled. And I'm damn proud of it. That's the spirit, boy. Hang on. I think some of the passengers are cheering at you. You can do it, Henry. We're sorry we were so rude. But now let's get to the station, you lovely green engine. red flag ahead, and there's a train there as well. What's the matter? Stupid engine refused to fill up on water because he was impatient, and now he's stuck. Why, it's 87546. The other engines are pretty busy. You'll have to push him to the next station. Do you think you can? Uh, I'm not sure. Come on, boy. You can do it. All right. I'll give it a try. Come on, you! Huh. Goodness, this smoke is very dirty. There must be something wrong with Henry's firebox. Well done, Henry. Keep going. Just the next station. Well done, boy. You did it. Oh, I must say, you don't look too well. Well done, Henry. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh at you earlier. This definitely made up for it. But you do look quite poorly. I don't know why, sir. This is hard building up steam. Sir, I used to be an engine driver back in the day, and it looks to me that this engine needs a thorough cleaning of his pipes and smoke box. Really? Yes. It's usually because the pipes are all blocked. It's common in new engines, especially thoroughbreds. Their parts just aren't used to wear and tear yet. Uh. Achoo! Henry, you clodhopper! Well, 
We'll definitely have to do what this man says. <coughs> Won't we, Henry? Hello, Henry. I must say that clean out made a huge improvement. Your work has been outstanding. Huh. Therefore, after great consideration, I have decided to give the number three to you. What? Sir, are, are you are you sure? Of course I am, Henry. I'm very sorry if I ever doubted you, but your dedication has inspired me. You managed to push a full train despite being obviously unwell. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. What about us, sir? What do we get? You two have been a bit troublesome, especially you, Alfred. But if you both prove yourselves, you may become the Railways 4 and 5. Hooray for Henry, the Northwestern Railways number three. This is an absolute outrage! It's bad enough that I'm not number one, but I will not take a back seat to a shunting tank engine, an old teapot, and some mixed bread mongrel! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get to my passenger train. Alfred! How dare you speak to us like that! You're a disgrace to the man you were named after! Disgrace, indeed. I'll show that had the ways of the London and North Western Railway. Hello, Henry. I'm sorry Alfred was so rude to you. I was harassed a lot on my old line, but never to the point of that. Oh, it's fine. I've recently lost all respect for him. I used to admire Alfred for how smoothly he ran, but... Now it's clear that his attitude is a different story. What about 87546? Oh, he's horrid too, but Alfred's definitely the worst of the lot. Yes, I would agree. Oh, look. Here he comes now. Boy, he's coming fast. This is how the LDR runs ahead of schedule. Alfred, slow down! You're going to crash! <laughs> Nonsense! What could possibly- Oh no. JUMP OUT! Are you happy, Alfred? Causing a serious accident and injuring people? Is that the way of the LNER? Uh, no, sir. Since I have already renewed your lease, I have no choice but to keep you. However, it seems your name and heritage have made you an arrogant engine. Therefore, you shall be painted blue like Thomas and Edward so we can get rid of that L and ER on your tender. And to avoid disgracing Sir Jovington even more, your name will be nullified, 98462. But... Sir, you can't do that! You can't take away my name! It's... 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 Be grateful I'm giving you another chance, 98462. Next time, you're out of here. <laughs> the same goes to you, 87546! I cannot have engines bullying and harassing others on this railway. Both of you, don't disappoint me again. I can't believe I invested in those two. Excuse me, sir, there's someone who would wish to talk to you. Really? Now who might that be? It's, uh, Sir Nigel Gresley.